¡Hola, amigos! Vamos a hacer algo muy rico y dulce hoy. Vamos a llenar una patata. Y... Ok, anyway. This, we are doing this in English. We could do it in Spanish though, couldn't we? No, English. Anyway, this is rocking, super simple, stuffed sweet potato skins. We're adding beans, lime, coriander, chili, all sorts of rocking ingredients. Takes an hour to make, one wonderful midweek dinner. Let's get started! Woo! First step, simply preheat the oven. We're preheating it to 180 degrees. We got five sweet potatoes, about 1.8 kg. So you see Dave's chopping these in half and they will take about an hour in the oven to cook fully through, but this is a handy recipe. Just start it, head off, do something else and come back in an hour and you just get that smell. Your house will just smell beautifully sweet, wonderful. So no oil, no salt, just boom, naked. They're going in. Sweet this potatoes on This bare sweet potato bacon. Baking, that is great. Baking, not baking. So we're just gonna bake them for about an hour. One hour in the oven. So sweet potatoes have been baked in the oven for about 50 minutes, smelling fantastic. Time to take them out, let's take them out. Oh my God, they smell yeah. amazing. So they smell amazing. First step we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sweet potatoes, make sure and use the tea towel because they're really hot and you don't wanna burn your hands. Yeah, so you just wanna scoop out the inside flesh, the sweet potato and whack it into a bowl, nice big mixing bowl and put the jackets back on the baking tray. Make sure and leave the oven on, because as soon as we scoop out the flesh, we're gonna put the, the jackets back in on the baking tray to bake for another 10 minutes to crisp up. Okay, so here, here they are, jackets are ready. See, they're nice and crispy. We've scooped out all the filling, there's the filling there. And we wanna pop the jackets back in the oven for 10 minutes while we make the filling. Okay, so now it's filling time. Really simple. Okay, we're gonna start with two cloves of garlic. You can slice them, my darling brother and then just get added to the bowl. We've got one red chili. Uh, we're gonna de-seed them, cut them in half, take out the seeds and put in, what do you reckon, the whole chili? Yeah. So these will add a nice fleck of color, nice little fleck of red through our little stuffing. Okay, next up, Mexican peas. We've got one lime. Better, don't we? Okay, so we got one tin of black beans. We've just drained and rinsed them. Use kidney beans, any kind of beans if you can't get black, but black add a nice contrast in color. In they go, beautiful. And then we have some sweet corn. So we've drained, we've rinsed this. This is a can of sweet corn. We're gonna put in 100 grams. So in it goes. Okay, so next up we're gonna add some spices. We've got one teaspoon of paprika. We've got two teaspoons of salt. So we've got a good, large, generous pinch of black pepper, about half a teaspoon. And then we've got tea two, 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 tea, two, tea, teaspoons. Two, two, tea. two teaspoons of ground cumin. Next up, two scallions. Steve's chopping them at an angle here because he's cool and hip and with us. So use the full length of the scallion because we want the green gone through it. Green onions, in they go. Okay, last thing, absolutely essential in any Mexican cooking is Coriander, coriander if, you don't like cori if you don't like coriander or cilantro, you could replace it with parsley. I wouldn't be too, too detailed about getting it nice and fine because a bit of rough leaf is lovely through it. Beautiful smell of it. Okay, okay bingo, now it's mixy mixy now, time. Here we go, mix it around. Oh, look at that. Look at those fab colors just coming together. What a smell. Ooh, so mix tastes great. Yum. Tastes fab. Okay, colors, time, to, time to take the skins out. Oh wow, they look great. Crispy, woo! Let's get our mixture, we're gonna put in our mixture. Really tasty. Mix, spreading the mixture amongst the 10 skins. Right now it's fantastic, gorgeous. You're getting a lot of starch in there, there's a lot of protein in there. Time to add a little bit of fat. We're adding one avocado, has avocado, just make sure it's ripe. Okay, grab a spoon and just scoop out a little bit. Just put them in the top. Okay, so there we are. Absolutely rock and delicious, smell amazing. Although they took kind of an hour, hour and 10 minutes, pretty much it was only 15 minutes that we were actually doing stuff. Rest of it, everything's just in the oven. So they're fantastic, great midweek one. I reckon kids would love them as well. So here we go. Before we taste them, share this with your friends and do try it, let us know what it's like. So these are super healthy. These are good source of monounsaturated fat, good for sort of starch. Protein. Enough waffle. Okay, here we go. Game on. Mmm. You hear the crunch? 
crunchy skin, tastes like a crisp. Absolutely amazing. Delicious. Really, 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 really Simple, good. tasty, really delicious. Great snack food, like for friends coming over at all. Rocking. Share this with anyone you like, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and bye! Cheers!